आई एम विद मिस्टर वी उदय भास्कर चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर भारत डायनेमिक्स लिमिटेड एट एरो इंडिया शो लेट मी स्टार्ट बाय आस्किंग मिस्टर उदय भास्कर टू गिव अस एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ भारत डायनेमिक्स लिमिटेड वी डी एल भारत डायनेमिक्स लिमिटेड एज यू आर ऑल अवेयर दैट इट इज अंडर इट इज अ डिफेंस पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग एंड वी हैव बीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मिसाइल्स स्पेसिफिकली गाइडेड वेपन सिस्टम्स for the armed forces and uh, we our inception is in 1970 and we are almost close to 50 years in the service of nation in manufacturing we started off with manufacturing conventional first generation anti tank weapons and with technologies coming from ex abroad and today we have now grown to a multi uh, unit and multi varieties of missiles manufacturing company we not only are making now today latest generation surface to uh, anti tank weapons but also the surface to air missiles and indigenous team made and we are also shortly going to make the surface to air missiles the technology is coming from ex abroad and we are already in the field of underwater weapons and all the lightweight torpedoes are already being delivered to the services and of course now strategic weapons we have been part of the integrated guided missile development programs nominated production agency so we already made in that program the missiles like prithvi the missiles like akash is being made and uh, agni is uh, needless to say strategic weapon is already being made in B by bdl team of course we have already expanded from one unit at kanchanbagh to three units already operationalized the other one being at medak uh, district in bhadur and the third unit is at vijayak for underwater weapons we are now expanding with two more in two more locations we have already purchased the land in both the locations one is at ibrahim patnam and the infrastructure is also been put in place in that in phase one activity particularly for test facilities for surface test missiles is already operationalized there and we are going to shortly have a latest state of the art manufacturing facility for medium range surface test missiles we in amaravati we are going to shortly expand build a, from the green field approach a nice facility for manufacturing very short in air defense systems of course pdl have now two more new directions in which it is traveling the one is that we are also trying to have our own r&d products particularly missiles otherwise we have been so far dependent on technologies coming from abroad under government government equipments our technology is developed by drdo which is being productionized by pdl but now we are also having a full scale r&d and uh, all experts are being put in place and a few consultants are put in place and a sort of a panel of experts are put in place all of them are already already tasked to have latest generation anti tank weapon as a target and i think we are going to shortly field this equipment this would not only be fielded to our services but also for an international global demand unless we have our own ipr and product we would not be able to tweet the way it is required for international demand it is not uh, 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 you know, uh, right approach for taking government of India investments through our uh, through our DRDO and try to so uh, tailor make a requirement of a uh, outward sales abroad. It is the, always the good as a commercial organization we do this uh, investment and we do that development and field into international market. Of course, I would also like to say that uh, in line with the government of India's direction and thrust for us, we are. now expanding our horizon into the international market our underwater weapons which are indigenous technology of drdo being made in bdl is already now finding a lot of interest acts in various foreign countries we had already first export orders booked and delivered the first consignments delivered already in southeast asian countries we are exploring still we are in a nascent stage we are exploring in a big way the various foreign countries for all other products our export profiles are formed up and we are now building that in various international exhibitions in this aero india also that is one of the areas which we have been showcasing in fact we we can see in that displays the products like indigenously developed akash the indigenously developed lightweight torpedoes the indigenously developed uh, uh, varieties of host of systems we have already uh, put on displays i think what you have told us is the secret behind breaking into the top 100 defense and aerospace defense news companies uh, but let me also ask you what is happening with the anti tank missile the anti tank missile of latest uh, we are already making second generation 
and we, we are aware that kankur sham in war or russian origin missiles which are being made in numbers and is delivered in time to the services in quality and milan is a missile which is being made under a technology transfer from branch france and that is also continuously being made and uh, we apart from the second generation missiles we are going to make a third generation missile with one of the two technologies one is that the drdo is already developing man portable atgm and in that bdl is a co development partner and that this soon after it matures we are going to produce it in our bdl plant already the necessary infrastructure was put in place in our powder unit and our uh, the honorable uh, our secretary drdo has inaugurated the premises and uh, we are all geared up to see that that third generation atgm comes into the production line shortly apart from that there is a parallel approach as i was saying that bdl also tasked itself to develop a third generation atgm on our own it is also expected to be shortly maturing and that would also be fielded into the services this is as far as a short range say around 2 and 1/2 kilometers range the requirement of the services apart from that there is a requirement of a 4 kilometer range also the only approach so far is that the missile is called nag it's a part of the integrated guided missile development program and drdo has already developed this whole missile recently winter trials were successfully concluded after its a successful summer trials last summer and it is about to be now inducted into the services bdl already is built the infrastructure in collaboration with drdo and a concurrent engineering mode and we would be definitely catering to the services requirement in a short period but this 4 km third generation anti tank weapon and one last question how has been the response at aero india it is very wonderful and exciting in fact a lot of uh, you know i have booked in fact three conference halls in this when i was entering into this uh, is it not a super place today we are finding sp- we are we are in want of space is because all of them are continuously occupied with a lot of foreign collaborations of course to say to the lighter size but to say now that they seriously we have been entering into various foreign collaborations and to in the true sense to implement the make in india program they particularly make in india envisages that anybody can bring that technology from foreign and make it in india and either to the services indian services or even abroad in fact we started with a, a approach that with a thales uk recently we signed agreements and uh, where they say that they are bringing the technology for manufacture of a star trek missile we make it in india and then they want to take it to the global demand of them and so this is what is a, a novel uh, and first of its kind of approach and uh, we are able to have we, uh, have a reasonable progress in this euro india also we had representatives and a deliberation happened and a, a fruitful uh, for a fruitful conclusions then we also have another approach that most of these foreign oems have been supplying various equipments in earlier contracts they have an offset obligations these offset obligations we they want to now display, you know uh, uh, utilize bds infrastructure and capability in utilizing the final integration capability of bd so that's why they are bringing in the subsistence they want to bring into the subsistence in india integrate here and deliver to either our armed forces or they want to take abroad this in this context we had a very fruitful discussions with mbd and of course we have been also trying to explore various new generation requirements of the services like say, even the rocket martin about a javelin and various other approaches we have been exploring in fact refurbishment of missiles which are vintage missiles available in india and from russian origin earlier there were a lot of issues in that but with the new government's initiative of recently conference was conducted by indian government at russian uh, in russian uh, in russian territory and with uh, all many not only psus but also various private sectors on board were seeking the technology transfers for sustaining these equipments so in that of course fortunately bdl is the lead integrator and and is nominated as a refurbishment agency for all our equipment held in india and so we have a few agreements in that we have further strengthened these agreements in the in aero india's discussions and I, we are very hopeful that we would be delivering a good services to the armed forces